this support video, I will take you through assessment feedback customization. Let's go over to the settings menu. And let's go over to the sub menu called feedback. Notice at the top here, I have the option to customize the assessment feedback and apply those customization options to my linked accounts at the same time. So if I wanted the same options or same customization options to be applied to linked accounts, I would simply go over here and tick those relevant linked accounts. A reminder again that if you do need help with a specific menu option, we have the help area here. If you just hover over this question mark, you'll see the help information appear. Now back to our customization options. The first thing that we notice is that we're able to make a selection based on the profile type. This means that the options that I choose for my interviewee profile type might be different from the employee profile type, for example. Now let's run through the different assessment feedback options. The first option is that no report will go out to the assessment taker whatsoever. This is a very good option to choose if you are running an assessment plan over a period of time and you don't want there to be too much internal discussion about the assessment content or perhaps um, coaching notes or anything like that that might be included in the feedback report. The second option, basic report, will then include only the elapsed time and the score for that specific person. Our next option, feedback on report, is a bit more detailed. This will include the question wording, what the person answered and what the correct answer was. So as you can see, we are starting to see a bit more detail here and that needs to be taken into consideration. The next option is feedback and coaching on report. So the person will see, as per the previous option, the question wording, their answer, what the correct answer was, and some coaching notes from the author of the assessment, which will guide them in terms of how to have to have optimally approached that specific question. The last option is our most detailed option and includes the above two, as well as learning on report. And learning on report is where you have appended some learning notes or some learning links, and those will be displayed against the relevant question. So it's very important to, to define your assessment feedback options before rolling out your assessment plan. At the bottom here, please also make sure that you select the email results, basic report or full report. So make sure that um, you define that option so that the correct level of detail can go out into that email report so that is sent to an assessment taker after they have completed their assessment. Similarly, for uh, exam status, you can define whether you want to include an exam certificate or, an, you know, or emit that option. Once you have defined your options here, you can click Save to record those changes. Now, you might have a requirement where you would like to share the coaching notes with your users, but you don't want those to go out in the report that is sent to the user. So maybe in that case, you can select a basic report or even no report. And what you can do is go over to your library and find the relevant assessment. And if you hover over to these icons here on the right hand side, you can see that there is this middle icon here 
called download coaching files. So you can actually download the coaching files and um, then upload them to an intranet or maybe an internal wiki site or something like that and you can share those coaching files with your users after the assessment plan has been completed. One more thing that I just want to highlight and uh, this is specifically relevant for, um, you know, very large assessment plans. So initially, I might have no report and um, that will then, you know, not send a report to the user. I can change that later on and say, OK, now I would like there to be feedback on the report because everyone has completed their assessments. And I can then go over to the results area and I can select the users via grouping, so via grouping or dynamic grouping. I can select the users and I can then click this icon here called email results, which will then send them a fresh results email based on the current feedback options that you have defined. Whilst I'm talking about feedback uh, customization and, you know, we are discussing the uh, feedback uh, topic, I would also like to just highlight what feedback is available inside the user profile. So I've just gone over to the users menu and the submenu user list and I'm just hovering over this icon here with the green arrow and that will then take me into this user profile. If I go to the my scores submenu and I click on the assessment that I want to look at, say for example the Revit architecture assessment. It's important to understand the user will have a focused um, analysis of their personalized skills gaps over here based on that assessment. But if I scroll down here, the user is also able to analyze their question performance against it, the internal organization benchmark as well as our global benchmark. So they're able to compare individual question results against that internal benchmark, which is, you know, a benchmark based on the overall company performance. If they scroll down here, they're also able to do that as far as time is concerned. So that is a further element that um, covers feedback after the assessment process. So I hope this video um, was helpful for you to understand what options are available with regards to assessment feedback and how you can customize those options and then a further few best practice ideas to follow when, uh, you know, when looking at assessment feedback specifically. The last thing that I would just mention is that um, a lot can also be achieved inside our Power BI template. So um, if you have any customized um, assessment feedback needs, just forward those to us and we can always have a discussion about um, how those results can be visualized possibly inside our Power BI template.